Christmas is a truly special time of year. And as we all know, there is very little that represents Christmas and the Christmas spirit more than worms. Snow and ice and cold stuff are also high on that list, so today we're going to look at some ice worms, some very mysterious creatures that we know almost nothing about. The so-called ice worms that we're talking about here are tiny little creatures that spend their entire lives in glacial ice, although technically not all creatures called ice worms do. But the ones we're talking about, members of the genus Mesenchytraeus that live in the ice, like Mesenchytraeus salificus, do. Rather surprisingly, despite their habitat, these tiny little squiggles will die if the temperature drops to freezing. They can survive at zero degrees C, but not a single degree less. In fact, it's during the colder months where they gain the most energy. They come out during the summer fatter than when they were last seen going into the winter. So where do they get this energy from? What's their prey? These worms almost certainly feed on the algae and bacteria found in these glaciers. Glaciers, despite their temperatures, are teeming with life although these worms being the few examples of this that you can actually see. But it doesn't seem like ice worms really need to consume a great deal anyway. A glacial biologist chucked some in his fridge for a year and they were still alive and well afterwards. So perhaps expectedly with these tiny little ice dwellers, they don't really need massive amounts of energy to get through the year. Although it's worth noting that whether or not the worms were actually the same ones that went into the fridge in the beginning or instead they had reproduced is unknown. How they reproduce is also a mystery, and you can probably start to see a theme here. They have been observed as being distinctly smaller in the early summer, during one of the few times of the year that they can be observed, so it's probably some point close to this where the eggs hatch. Does anything feed on them? I said there were billions of them and I wasn't kidding, but yes, they do have predators, birds being the main ones as I'm sure you could guess. Another interesting unsolved question about these worms is how important they are to their predators. Do the birds that feed on these worms rely on them for themselves or their young? Unsurprisingly, we don't know the answer to that either, but the bird's part in the story of these ice worms doesn't quite end there. It's believed that the relatively wide distribution of these ice worms, given the fact that they can't fly, is due to their predators. Whether they can stick themselves in the bird's feathers or whether some can survive the trip through the bird's digestive system, again, we don't know. Could be both. This is just a video on stuff we don't know about some worms at this point. So is any of this actually important? Well, as the habitats of these worms melt, the opportunities to learn more about them diminish. Some glaciers that they were found in have completely disappeared, and many of their remaining strongholds face a similar fate. And on that happy Christmas note, I'll end the video. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas day, and more importantly, I hope you have been enjoying Worm Week 2021. The final video is out tomorrow, so tune in to conclude the best week of the year with a bang. But not too much of a bang. <laughs>